for stopping by. I don't know if you've been watching um, the previous videos that I've made on the coffee mugs that I'm designing for the Relay for Life American Cancer Society boutique that's coming up, um, but you can check those out. I, they're different things here and there. I've been using vinyl and um, Sharpies and uh, also uh, multi-surface paint. For this one, I'm going to be doing a coffee mug using the oil-based Sharpies. Um, the oil-based, what you do is you, you draw your, your design, you let it dry, and then you bake it. I have no idea why that's there. Um, I, I saw a YouTube video where they um, did a test on both the Sharpie and the oil-based Sharpie, and the Sharpies just don't don't hold. They don't uh, stay on the, the uh, coffee mug, the ceramic. So get the oil-based Sharpies if that's what you are wanting to do. I could not find them at any of the local craft stores. Uh, I ordered mine all online on Amazon. All right, so I'm going to start off with the um, printing of it first. And I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper here. Test my pen, it's good. All right, so the saying is love you to the moon and back. So I'm gonna start a little below the lip here because you know, if you put it up to your lip, you don't want to feel like you're getting ink on it, right? But it's not going to, after you bake it, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna say, um, just in uh, calligraphy writing, or what, not calligraphy, but handwriting. Love. Okay, I'm going to stop a minute and show you something really cool. You have to do this right away if you're in the middle of working on your project. You have to clean it off right away and you can start over. Just bring it down, let it dry really, really well. Um, that's just a Clorox wipe, but you can use um, isopropyl alcohol and uh, tissue as well. So that, I just wanted to show that to you. Let's start over. Let, I'm just, I can see that it's not quite dry yet, so I'm just, I'm waiting at it dry. Okay, so let's do this again. I'm not really concerned about it being like completely, um, you know, straight across. I, I like that it's handcrafted and, and it's not going to be perfect. So, love you. Two. Now I'm going to come down here and do and back and then step up one because I want to make sure I have enough room down here. Love you to the moon and. back. You could probably use a stencil if you are not comfortable with, you know, handwriting it out. Um, you know, use a, a lettering stencil. That would be fine. And then this one's going to say the I'm using some old-fashioned writing, handwriting skills I learned way back when. Okay, so there's Love You to the Moon. Make sure you always put your lids on and back. Okay, so let's do our moon. Shake it real good so all the ink gets down into the tip. Give it a little nose. Color it in. You want to do this right away. The Sharpies do dry quickly and you want it to have a nice thick layer to it. Then I'm going to draw some stars, which I'm not that great at, but I'm, you know what? I'm okay with it because this is handmade, right? You don't want perfect everything. So I'm going to give it the, the corners that it needs. Color that in. And then maybe I'll come over here. Be careful not to rub on your um, lettering because it's not quite dry yet. Or you can go back and redo it if if you do. So I'm going to make the start just about right there. He's a little bit bigger. Funny how I put genders on things that are not. Okay, so I don't like where that's at and I don't like the size of it. So I'm going to take my wipey and I'm just going to clean it off. You can let it dry on its own or you can take, you know, anything that's dry, dry it off like that. Let's try to make that star a little bit smaller. Kind of went crazy on that one. 
Yeah, there we go. That's better. Good. And then I make another one like right about here. Small as I can make it. All right. All right, so that white looks like it's almost dry. So let's go ahead and paint this guy's face on, or make a face for him. Here it is. Looking for my small black one. And we're going to give it an eye. You could put eyelashes on this if you want. And a smile. All right, love you to the moon and back. There it is, people. Um, have fun with this. Enjoy it. Relax. Um, it's good to know you can just erase it, start over. A very, very fun crafting project to do. Um, please leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned in this video, once the um, Sharpie ink dries, you want to bake it in the oven. And there's a bunch of different people who are saying a bunch of different things, but I found that 400 degrees for 30 minutes works. Now you want to put it on a, a cookie sheet type thing and put it in as the oven is preheating so that the cup isn't like blasted at that high heat and, and break. So um, then you take it out and you just let it sit for a couple of hours. You don't do anything to it and then it'll be ready to go. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Um, have a great day.